Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade, module eight, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are gonna be building uh, a variety of different shapes. They're gonna be identifying them, and they're gonna be analyzing them uh, using those attributes that we've been talking about, sides, angles, maybe corners, but really we wanna use the word angles instead of corners. And as long as we're talking about vocabulary words, this is a great time for me to remind you all, parents and teachers, Please, in your room, build a word wall. So, woohoo, right there, a, a word wall. Keep it up there. I want you to think of all of your students, not just your English learners, but I want you to think of all of your students as academic language learners. Academic language, all, A-L-L, -L, academic language learners. All of our students are academic language learners. And so we kind of need to treat all of our students a little bit like English learners in that we need to make that academic vocabulary visible on the wall, available for students to get up and refer to whenever they need them. And so some words that we're going to be focusing on in this lesson, uh, besides sides and angles that we've been talking about in previous lessons, we're going to be talking about polygons, triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, and all of these words are going to be so important. And so this is a great time to put them up on a word wall. So let's get started. All right, so parents and teachers, we're going to begin with, oh, let's say we're going to begin with um, giving each student, um, each student or maybe pair of students, a whole bunch of spaghetti strips, uh, sticks, right? So let's just give each student a whole bunch of uh, spaghetti, um, what do you call them? Spaghetti sticks, I guess. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> so anyway, and so we're going to say, all right, well, let's take two of those sticks. Now, I don't want any of this to uh, scale, so I'm going to lock that scale so it doesn't lock the scale. Woohoo! All right, so now we're going to take that sp spaghetti uh, strand. And we say, well, if you got two of them, this is not a polygon because it's open. And that's the important thing is a polygon is a closed figure. And we want our students to recognize what closed figures are. And so we could then say, all right, well, let's close it using another piece of spaghetti. And there we go. And come on, there we go. Cool. Come on, hurry up. Go. Jeez Louise, come on. Go, there we go. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, we can do it. <laughs> and so the idea would be we can use these spaghetti pieces and we can make a polygon. Boom. There we go. Man, that was a lot of work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and then so we've got a three-figure, a three-sided figure. We can call it a triangle because today not only are we going to be using the attributes, sides and angles, but we're also going to be giving the official uh, titles as well. And so um, we can take another one. Let's take another spaghetti. And if we take that spaghetti and, oh, come on. Here we go. And I want to rotate it. It will not let me rotate. <laughs> and so let's take four of them. And so here, goodness gracious, come on, rotate. There we go. Woohoo! And I can take four spaghetti strips. And there we go. Here's my four spaghetti pieces. And I might have to break them or something like that. And then there is my four-sided figure, and it's not exactly closed now, is it? So let's make it closed, because I want it to be closed. I want to be precise, so let's kind of close that up a little bit. And so now we can see we've got a three-sided figure right here. We've got a four-sided. We can continue using these spaghetti strands to uh, uncook spaghetti to make a variety of polygons. Now, parents and teachers, as you're playing with these spaghetti uh, noodles, 
Uh, talk about sides. Talk about angles. It's okay to talk about ang- uh, corners as well, but the key is to focus on angles. And we want students to recognize that polygons are closed. Polygons always have the same number of angles as they do sides. We can then talk about, well, if it has three sides, it's a triangle. Four sides, it's a quadrilateral. We don't need to talk about rectangles and squares. We could talk about quadrilaterals and hexagons, etc. So now that our students have really been playing with the, the, the vocabulary words, now it's time for us to do a little bit of practice. It says count the number of sides and angles for each shape to identify each polygon. And these are the words in our word bank that we are allowed to use. And the idea is if it's a four-sided shape, we're going to call it a quadrilateral. So let's call that a quadrilateral. All right. And then the idea is just keep going. So using our vocabulary, our, our word bank up here, what is this figure? It's a triangle. Here we've got four sides, so what is it called? It's a quadrilateral. So parents and teachers, you can just pause the video and point and let's you know answer each one of these, and we can see uh, you can help your students practice using this new vocabulary. This is fun. This is where math becomes problem solving, and that's that's the best part of math. So it says, draw more sides, and that's the kicker right there. Draw more sides uh, to complete two examples. So we want to create a quadrilateral, and in order to create a quadrilateral, we know that that has four sides. So how do we com- continue adding sides to turn this into a quadrilateral? Well, we, one way we could say is, boom, there you go. That made a quadrilateral. And how about if we wanted to turn this guy into a quadrilateral? And this guy right here. Well, one way we could say is like boom, boom. So that's a quadrilateral. And that's pretty much a quadrilateral. I didn't quite close it enough. There, now it's closed. And, and that's the idea for this one is parents and teachers to let your students see that, oh, we're identifying a pentagon. A pentagon has... A uh, five-sided shape is a five-sided shape, so I need to draw three more sides somehow. And there's a whole bazillion different ways a student could draw three more sides. One, two, three. That's just one of them, right? There's an infinite number of ways that students could continue to add sides. Now, if this guy is supposed to be a five-sided figure... Now check this out. I could go like up, ooh, that's a surprise, over and down. And look at that, I just made a five-sided figure. One, two, three, four, five, and it's got five angles. One, two, three, four, and then this big one right there. There's our five angles, kind of cool. So parents and teachers, that's what this, this slide is all about. A little bit, an element of problem solving as students try and figure out how to take the given shape, which is not a polygon, and turn it into a polygon. Now this is kind of cool because they're telling us both of these polygons are pentagons. They're both pentagons and we're supposed to say why. Why are they pentagons? So parents and teachers, the word pentagon becomes the important key feature right here. And so we want to help our students understand why are these two figures pentagons? And I'm going to let you guys talk about it. And the last slide for this video is essentially the same kind of question as the previous slide, which is we're being told that these two figures are triangles. And now the idea is to say why? What makes this a triangle? And what makes this a triangle? And that, whoa, (laughs) where did that come from? (laughs) And so, and that's what this problem is all about. It's like, what is, what are the key attributes that make this polygon a triangle? 
All right, that wraps up second grade module eight, lesson two, using specified attributes to identify uh, new uh, vocabulary words, things like polygon, triangle, and quadrilateral and all that sort of stuff.